Hello crochet friends and welcome back. We're working on our cupcake bookmark and this is row three. We were working this direction, right, for row two and now we need to turn our work and go the opposite direction. So, got myself all situated here and ready to go. We're gonna skip that first stitch. We're gonna go into the second stitch and give it a slip stitch. So enter, yarn over and pull through and pull through again for a slip stitch. Go into your next stitch, give it another slip stitch right there, okay? All right, and then we're gonna do a single crochet in that same stitch. So enter, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through, two. All right, then we're gonna begin the repeat section here. So we wanna skip two double crochets, so one and two. And we're gonna go into that next stitch, which was our single crochet from the prior round. And we're gonna give it five double crochets. So I yarned over, I'm gonna enter that stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So that's one, yarn over, go right back in that same stitch, yarn over and pull through, Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. That's two. This is gonna be three. All double crochets in the same stitch. This is four. And we need one more. Okay, here's five. Okay, then we're gonna skip the next two double crochets. So we have one under here, see that one, two, go into this next stitch right here and give it a single crochet. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. And we need to repeat that one more time. So skip a double crochet, skip a double crochet. We're gonna go right here into that single crochet. So enter, uh, yarn over, enter, and five double crochets in there. So here's one double crochet, yarn over, go right back in, Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, that's two. And this is three, all in the same stitch again, right? This is four. I kind of look at these as little globs of icing. <laughs> and five, all right. Yeah, very good. And then we skip two. One, two, go into the next one, give it a single crochet. And let's see here, single crochet right there. And that's the end of three. We're gonna turn our work because we need to work back the other direction, okay? So that is the end of three. And then we're going to skip our first stitch. We're gonna go and do a slip stitch in the next two stitches, so skip this one. Go right here, give it a slip stitch. One, go in the next one, slip stitch. Two, alrighty, everybody okay with that? Two slip stitches, and now we want a single crochet in that same stitch. Just like we were doing before, we're just doing less globs of icing as we're going along here. <laughs> and there's our single crochet. Now skip your two double crochet and go into the single crochet from the prior round and give it five double crochets. So this will be one and two, all double crochets still for round four here. This is gonna be three, all in the same stitch. Okay, and four double crochets. One more, there's five double crochets. All right, now we wanna skip two stitches here. So one double crochet, two double, well, one double crochet, two double crochet. Go into the next one, give it a single crochet. All right, and this is where we fasten off for our icing. So pull up your loop, cut it off, make a knot, tuck in your tails, and that is it for the icing. So we are good on our icing. Um, it's all set. It will sit right once we get everything all tucked in. Tuck in this other tail. And oh, it's so cute, I love the icing. And when we meet up next time, we'll get our cherry on top and we'll be all done. I'll see you then, thank you, and have a joyful day.